Hey folks, uh, so tonight I'm just going to do something that I have definitely done before but want to try out again. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and make a flash cart out of this game I have here. Uh, I bought, this is, of course it was just on, it's working fine. This is like Card Trade Hero or Trade Card Hero or something, uh, DMG A H H J J P N. Um, I bought a whole bunch of these. I apparently already opened this one. I have no idea why, but it's an unmodified game. But uh, anyway, I bought a whole bunch of these because these are NBC3 carts, which means they have a real-time clock circuit. Uh, I got like 10 of these for like $10 total. So I bought a whole bunch of them, and I've been making flash carts out of them because they're apparently a not very desirable game. Um, but anyway... I want to go ahead and make a flash cart out of this one. Uh, one thing in particular about these carts is they use the 44 pin mask ROM instead of the 32 pin mask ROM. So they're, um, the adapters are a little bit more difficult to solder. But the point of this video is not the adapter. It's, well, actually, yeah, it is. It is the adapter itself. Um, I decided I wanted to try out a couple different things. Uh, first, I wanted to see how Osh Park's um, Flex PCB manufacturing service is, and I wanted to see if we can make these PCBs as, or these adapters as Flex PCBs. So, you know, two birds, one stone, that sort of thing. But uh, to get this adapter installed, which goes right here, uh, I have to remove this mask ROM chip. Uh, it's pretty easy to do, but first thing definitely have to desolder this battery. Battery's probably already dead. I haven't even checked it. But take a heat gun near one of these batteries and they, uh, well, explode. So I think I'd like to avoid that today. Uh, but otherwise, the easiest way to get this off, I think, is with a heat gun. Ben Ven shot off away in one of his videos where you just Take some uh, flush cutters and you snip each pin individually and then you can take the mask ROM chip off and touch up the joints with solder but I don't know I feel like that's more effort than just using my cheap heat gun so that's exactly what I'm gonna do um, I'm pretty sure I'm good to go on this I have that uh, metal plate down underneath my silicone pad just to make sure that I don't damage my desk and I do have something here that I could damage, but I think it'll be fine. Um, at least it should protect the things behind it. That's off. Hey, it says Taiwan under there. Neat. Focus, maybe? I don't know. Not really important. Don't need this. I'm just going to set it aside. If I can get it out of my tweezers. There we go. These are some new tweezers I just bought on uh, AliExpress. They're uh, ceramic tipped. And it was actually kind of nice using these for that because they didn't get hot in my hand at all. And I could just keep the tweezers there the whole time. Uh, anyway, I think I'm gonna pause for just a minute and let my surface cool down because I've got a really annoying bubble that I don't feel like working around. So I'll be back in just a sec. Right, it's still a little bit warm, but I think I can work around that. Um, so now I just need to solder this adapter onto here which should be pretty easy, but I think it might go better if I solder the flash chip to it first. I've got here in my flasher, uh, if you can read that screen, maybe, maybe not. There we go. Uh, it is already pre-flashed with Pokemon Silver. It's just an AM29FO16B chip. But this just goes on here, line up the dot with the dot there. 
My concern is that this chip covers up the points on the bottom, so actually I think I have to solder the adapter first. So let's try it out, get some flux on there. Trying out some new flux too. See if I like this stuff at all. You'll have to excuse that noise in the background. As soon as I say something, he decides he's done. So I think this is going pretty well. Let's get some more solder in here too. Oh, there he goes again. There is zero actual reason to use a flex PCB for this, by the way. Um, in fact, they're even more expensive than just getting the regular adapters. But, I don't know. Like I said, I want to try out their flex PCB capabilities. And I had a sort of hold my beer moment, you know. Will this work at all? Figured I'd try it. Why not? My concern is that it's real difficult to tell if everything is soldered properly. But it doesn't look like I'm getting all of the joints. To say though I'm not sure if I'm digging this flux. My other flux is easier, but in theory, I shouldn't have to clean this up. But it keeps evaporating or drying up so quickly. But that might be more my fault than the flux's fault. You just gotta get used to using it first. Nothing else, at least this adapter will look pretty cool. Right, I think that's good. I can imagine messing up at this point means trashing this adapter. Because I imagine the pins would lift a lot easier. So 
Speaking of, helps if it's actually lined up, huh? Oh shoot, and I forgot something. Let me take that off there. With this particular adapter, you do have to solder a wire underneath the last two pins. With these AM29FO16 chips, it's easiest to just snip those two legs off. You don't have to, but it looks quite a bit cleaner. So that's what I'm going to do. That side is lined up. That is a wonderful noise. So first thing when soldering these, you just got to make sure that all the pins are actually soldered down. doesn't matter too much if you have any solder bridges. I'm going to clean up the solder bridges later. Usually it's easiest to do that. Just add flux, clean your iron, run your iron along the traces. Or joints, rather. I'll just let my cat provide the uh, the audio for my videos. Isn't that right? good. I'm still short between the last two pins, but these pins are not connected to anything. So it's okay. But I don't like how it looks. There we go. And I think I got that side too. There we go. How's that look? So one of the things that I was excited about with this adapter in particular is uh, once you've got it all soldered down, if you look at the board, it looks like it's just part of the board. It doesn't look like there's an adapter. So if we take this other cart I've done a while back, you can see the difference in thickness, but I have no idea how well this works yet. 
I've just been waving it around, letting the flux flash off. Um, before we test it, though, I do have one more thing I need to do. Got to solder this wire. And I can't remember if it goes to pin 2 or pin 3, which is probably an issue. But I'll fix that in just a sec. Rather, I'll fix that issue. And oh, I suppose I can look at this cart right here. It goes to pin three. So actually, I could solder it right there. That would make way more sense, huh? I'm going to solder it to this view right here just because I think it looks a little bit cleaner. And should be all done. So let's try it out. If I pop this in my Game Boy, there it is, should boot up to Pokemon Silver, assuming I did nothing wrong. But I did something wrong. Naturally. Seriously doubt it's the pins, because it worked just fine. Yeah, same thing. So it's probably one of these joints under the chip. Since the ones on top are all nice and solid. Um, there's no easy way to do that, huh? Let's just feed flux in. Put some solder on the iron. And go at it from the side. Well, sounds like a cooking show, huh? All right. Ah ha ha ha! Hey, I like them apples. That was it. One of those joints was bad. All right, so that's not going to hold the save because it has no battery. So let's fix that, yeah? Oh, uh, shoot. Where did I put my batteries? 
There they are. So, just going to use a generic CR2025. Take that out of the case. Pre-tin that. And so pay attention, bottom has the plus on it. This side right here has the plus, which means this tab goes to the top there. I don't know why I don't bring that in. And that is it. I can add a little bit of flux. Clean up that joint. That looks better. Now, let's try it out. New game, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not, but it will be 10 for now. My name will be Silver for now. I'll save the game. And before booting this back up, I want to put this in the case that I'm actually going to use because it's cool like that. And that way we can double check that it still holds a save when you remove it from the Game Boy. I gotta find a screw, but that's fine. And there we go. How you like them apples? I'm happy with that. Um, I will say that it's not worth ordering these adapters in a... Uh, flex version unless you just absolutely really really dig that look uh, I mean you can't even see the PCB which I guess is probably part of the appeal there but I should probably pay more attention to that uh, timer shouldn't I um, anyway sorry kind of lost my train of thought because the uh, camera stopped on me but uh, I'm pretty happy with how this turned out uh, I will say that I probably wouldn't do this again, except that I still have two more adapters, so I'm probably going to use them. Uh, but otherwise, I think it turned out pretty nicely. If I do say so myself, I went ahead and found a screw here. So you can't get that in there. And for some reason, this hole is not as deep as it needs to be, but whatever. There's that. I did clean it up with um, a little bit of isopropyl alcohol. I did reflash it. Reflash just fine. Uh, and I did start a new game. I, I just flash it with Prism. I'm going to flash it again with something else, but this is just what I had on my cart flasher. But it is holding the save. RTC is working properly, so I think we're good to go. Um... My new Flux, of course this isn't the bottle it came in, and I didn't use nearly as much as I thought I did, or as much as it might have looked like, because this bottle, I mean it wasn't full to the very top, but I mean you can still see how quite full it is. Um, 
so far I'm liking it. I think I just need to get used to it a little bit more. It's uh, this stuff. I just picked up this whole one liter bottle of uh, new clean. And um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm really digging it so far. And you really don't have to clean it. I did clean this because I, need, I wanted to clean up the contacts anyway, but I don't know. I'm digging it. Anyway, uh, if y'all have any questions, feel free to hit me up in the comments. Uh, sorry if this video was a little bit less uh, less me than usual. I, I, I don't think my heart was quite in it. Uh, it's just been a doozy of a day. But otherwise, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.